what is up my friends it's Ray back here and I'm currently in Las Vegas Nevada at CES 2019 roaming around the show floor exploring cool tech when I discovered something I thought you guys would really love to see so I just had to make a video on it this here is the go retro portable handheld console at a convention full of futuristic tech it is super cool seeing retro gaming alive and well in the form of this here portable and new arcade cabinets that are coming in different shapes and sizes but that's a topic I'm going to save for my next CES video, so stay tuned. Now, during my time with this here portable, I was actually pretty impressed with it. There are 260 plus built-in games with 36 of them, such as Mega Man, Tetris, Burger Time, etc. They're officially licensed by Capcom and Data East, which means this handheld is as legit as it gets. The rest of the games outside of those, though, they're really not too exciting to say the least. They're kind of generic. Regardless, there's actually a solid lineup of games on here. It's pretty cool. As an added benefit, the portable also felt very well built. Even though it was tied down during my time with it, it was still incredibly lightweight with great quality buttons, solid response time, and a sharp high res screen to match. The one thing I was surprised by though is that it actually is powered by four AAA batteries or a micro USB cable. I would have really loved for there to have been just at least a built in rechargeable battery in here, but I was told that the portable is only going to retail for 35 bucks so I really can't complain that is a steal that is really really cheap for what you're getting here overall this was really just a nice surprise to find on the show floor and once I saw it I knew I had to make a video on it for you guys because I know how much you guys love portables Game Boys 2DS's whatever it may be I just had to make this happen for you guys and here I am what was really cool though is that this actually felt like a preview of what a Game Boy Classic could really be like it's definitely possible and judging by people's interest in this when I saw them playing on the show floor it's something Nintendo would definitely run straight to the bank with go retro made a fantastic portable gaming console here with great games and solid hardware for a cheap price I am really really excited to pick up one of these guys and see what a Game Boy Classic could actually be Alrighty guys, so that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Be sure to be on the lookout for more CES videos coming your way. There's a lot out here and I'm really, really excited to share it with you guys. There's a lot to come. So until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.